Hey everyone, today I'll be opening up the sealed booster box case of Paldea Evolved. While it's typically cheaper just to buy cards individually when trying to complete a set, I still personally like opening up booster packs and trying to pull the chase cards myself. So in this video, we'll be opening up the first two booster boxes in the case. Not only are we going to compare the pull rates of this set to the previous set, but we'll also be spending the time to individually weigh the packs because, from what I'm hearing, Paldea Evolved can still be weighed to determine which packs have the hits in them. Alright, let's open up this case and weigh some packs for science. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, a booster box case typically contains six booster boxes inside. Here I'm showing you what a completely sealed booster box case looks like. Here's the top, and I'll flip it around so you can see all the sides. There's the one boring side, and then the other side has a label on it that has information about the set and the case itself. There's also this not for retail sale before text, which indicates the first run or first print of a set. So for Paldea Evolved, that not for retail sale before date is June 9th, 2023. This information could come in handy if you're trying to get your hands on something like a first print run case of Evolving Skies or some other older modern set where the hits are seemingly better in that first run. So as you can see here, I have my two booster boxes ready to go. I also have a scale here in view of the camera so those of you that want to follow along can. From what I've seen and read online, it seems like it might be possible to weigh the packs in this new set to identify which ones have the hits. I did a video on the Scarlet and Violet base set where we did prove that it was possible, so we're going to see here if the Pokemon Company fixed the problem in the newest set. After opening the booster boxes, all we're going to do is simply put each pack on the scale one by one and record the weight of the pack. With any quote unquote weighable set, you need to have the full booster box to accurately identify the heavy packs. For those of you that don't know, the quote unquote heavy packs are what people in the community call the weighed packs that they believe have a hit in them. So in the early base set and jungle set days, these were the packs with foils in them, or for Scarlet and Violet, those were the packs that contained an EX card or better. Without having the full box, it is more difficult to determine whether or not the pack is heavy, but for some sets, it still can be done. I wanted to now go over the top chase cards in the set as of mid-June 2023. The first and undisputed chase card of the set is the Iono Special Illustration Rare with comps at around $150. Next we're looking at the Magikarp Illustration Rare with comps at $65. Then Iono Ultra Rare with comps at $45. Tyranitar Illustration Rare with comps at $35. Qian Pao EX Special Illustration Rare with comps at $35 and the Dendra Special Illustration Rare with comps at $25. The next tier includes Boss's Orders, the Special Illustration Rare coming in at $20, Meowskarada EX Special Illustration Rare at $20, Raichu Illustration Rare at $20, Grusha Special Illustration Rare at $20, Chi Yu EX Special Illustration Rare at $18, Tinkatin EX Special Illustration Rare at $17, Skeledurge EX Special Illustration Rare at $17, and Qian Pao EX Hyper Rare at $17. There are 103 hits total in Paldea Evolved. These include 17 Double Rares, 26 Ultra Rares, 36 Illustration Rares, 15 Super Illustration Rares, and 9 Hyper Rares. The 17 Double Rares are Fortress EX, Meowskarada EX, 
Wuchian EX, Skeleturge EX, Qi Yu EX, Quaquavel EX, Qian Pao EX, Pikachu EX, Bellabot EX, Slowking EX, Dedene EX, Lycanroc EX, Ting Lu EX, Paldean Cloudsire EX, Kuparaja EX, Noivern EX, and Squawkabilly EX. Next are the 26 Ultra Rares, which include Foratrist EX, Meowscarada EX, Wuchian EX, yeah. Skeledurge EX, Chi Yu EX, Quakbavel EX, Qian Pao EX, Bellybot EX, Slowking EX, Dedene EX, Tinkatin EX, Lycanroc EX, Annihilate EX, Tinglu EX, Paldean Cloudsire EX, Kuparaja EX, Noivern EX, Squawkabilly EX, Boss's Orders, Clavel, Dendra, Faulkner, Giacomo, Grusha, Iono, and finally Saguaro. There are 36 illustration rares. Heracross, Tropius, Sprigatito, Florigato, Bramlin, Fletchender, Pyroar, Fuecoco, Crocolore, Magikarp, Meryl, Ice Q, Quaxley, Quaxwell, Frigibax, Arctabax, Baxcalibur, Raichu, Miss Magus, Gotharita, Sandigast, Rabska, Tinkatink, Tinkatuff, Paldean Tauros, Pseudo Wudo, Knackley, Paldean Wooper, Tyranitar, Graphii, Orthworm, Rookity, Mousehold, Flamigo, Fairy Giraffe, and finally, the Dunsparce. There are 15 Super Illustration Rares. Meowscarada EX, Wu Qian EX, Skeledurge EX, Qi Yu EX, Quaquavel EX, Qian Pao EX, Tinkaton EX, Ting Lu EX, Squawkabilly EX, Boss's Orders, Dendra, Giacomo, Grusha, Iono, and Saguaro. Lastly, there are nine Hyper Rares. These include Meowscarada EX, Skeledurge EX, Quaquavel EX, Qian Pao EX, Ting Lu EX, Super Rod, Super Energy Retrieval, Basic Grass Energy, and Basic Water Energy. In box one, we got only 10 hits in the box. That's only about a 27.7% pull rate for hits. The breakdown of the hits were four double rares, Chi Yu EX, Coquavel EX, Pikachu EX, and Ting Lu EX. Two ultra rares, Kuparaja EX and Giacomo. Two illustration rares, Quaxwell and the Raichu. One super illustration rare, Qian Pao EX. And one hyper rare, Super Energy Retrieval. All in all, that's about $85 in total value for the hits. And note that I paid about $112 per box, so that's 75% of the box cost covered. Some other things to note are that we didn't get any duplicate hits or duplicate foils, which is nice. We actually didn't pull three of the normal rares, but we're not really worried about that knowing we're going to go through a full case here. So after one box, we have 31 of the 81 foil commons, 27 of the 70 foil uncommons, 10 of the 25 reverse foil rares, 4 of the 17 double rares, 2 of the 26 ultra rares, 2 of the 36 illustration rares, 1 of the 15 super illustration rares, and 1 of the 9 hyper rares. 
That means we have 254 of the 455 cards in Paldea Evolved. That's about 55.8% of the Master Set completed. Yeah. We got 12 hits out of box 2. That's a 33.3% pull rate for hits. The breakdown of the hits in box 2 is 5 double rares, Wu Qian EX, Skeletor GX, Slow King EX, Squawkabilly EX, and Lycanroc EX. 3 ultra rares, Fortress EX, Qian Pao EX, and the Iono. 3 illustration rares, Pyroar, Meryl, and Tinkatuff. No super illustration rares, but one hyper rare, the Super Rod. So the hits here are valued at around $98, which is about 87.5% of the booster box cost covered. Not too bad. A couple of things to note from box 2 are that we got a fair amount of duplicate foil commons and uncommons, 21 in total, but we didn't get any duplicate reverse foil rares or hits, which is great. So after two boxes, we have 53 of the 81 foil commons, 46 of the 70 foil uncommons, 16 of the 25 reverse foil rares, 9 of the 17 double rares, 5 of the 26 ultra rares, 5 of the 36 illustration rares, 1 of the 15 super illustration rares, and 2 of the 9 hyper rares. That means we now have 313 of the 455 cards in Paldea Evolved. That's about 68.8% of the master set complete. So after the first two boxes, what do we think? Is this set weighable? 
I would still say yes, but it seems like the Pokemon company has started to try to address the problem. At Scarlet and Violet's release, it was pretty cut and dry that the heaviest packs, more often than not, were talking like more than 80% of the time. If the pack was heavy relative to the other packs in the box, it had a hit. In Paldea Evolved, this doesn't necessarily seem like the case anymore. If we take a look at box 1, only 5 of the 8 heaviest packs contained a hit or hits, so that's only 62.5%. The other 4 hits were scattered among the lighter packs. In box 2, 8 of the 13 heaviest packs contained a hit or hits, so that's only about a 61.5% chance at a hit in those packs. Note that in box 1, anything that weighed 22.87 grams or above I considered heavy, while in box 2 it was 22.84 grams or above. While a bit arbitrary, I had to pick a cutoff line for each box when doing this evaluation, so there you go. Please use this as a public service announcement to be careful whenever buying loose packs. I mean that advice really goes for buying anything Pokemon cards or otherwise, but I recommend always buying from a reputable seller, one that you trust or have bought from before in the past. I am in no way suggesting that everyone is weighing packs, from what I've seen, most people are not. So please do not start doing this yourself. People spend their hard-earned money on booster packs for a chance at a hit, so please don't be that person that scams someone out of their money. Alright, so that concludes part 1 of our Paldea Evolved booster box case opening. This set is definitely going to be harder to complete compared to the Scarlet and Violet base set. That's because there are 103 hits in this set versus the 72 found in Scarlet and Violet. Please join me in my next video where we'll open up the rest of the booster boxes in this case and go over the numbers, which include the pull rates and master set completion. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and check out our other videos. I really appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you all in the comments.